Hello to all of my socialites and celebutants across the country. I am the one and only Zim Van Adams conquering the world, y'all, one word at a time. Um, I come to you today to sort of share some of my personal journey as I, I've, I've done over all of this time. Um, in my life, one of my downfalls, one of my uh, shortcomings has always been my sort of um, inability to, to be patient, to sort of allow God to pace me and allow me to naturally travel upon the journey in which he wants me to travel. My grandmothers, Nana Gloria and Nana Bibi, both have always said, Zim, you know, you need to learn to stop and smell the roses. And that technically I've been doing blogging since 2002, 2003. My audience really was just my friends and my associates. I had about 50 to 75 of my friends and associates on a Yahoo quick list. And when anything would happen in the entertainment industry or when anything was going on in my life and anything was going on in politics or what have you, I would create mass emails and send them out to them. And that was my audience. I, you know, it's, it's weird because now that I am more public and I've stepped outside of the realm of just my friends and my associates on that Yahoo quick list, it's like I find myself now being ungrateful for what God has bestowed upon me, the, the opportunities that, that presently exist. I find myself, something that I've done my entire life, especially in my adult life, is comparing myself and comparing my accomplishments and, and my level of success with those of other individuals. You know, like out of my friends, I was the last one to graduate from college. Everybody else went to school for education, sociology, psychology, you know, law pretty mainstream fields. I went to school to study film, screenwriting, you know. It took me six years to graduate from college because of the transferring and everything else. I'm one of the last of my friends to buy a house. Most of my friends currently live in houses. And you know, I, I have and I do compare myself even with even with my videos. It's like, you know, I'm one who sort of, instead of Enveloping the fact that, you know, Zim, you're reaching thousands of young men and young women with your stories and your experiences. And, you know, it's not until I really receive messages from people saying, I came out to my mother last night because I watched your video about A, B, and C. Or well, somebody's mother emails me and says, you know, my relationship with my son or my relationship with my daughter is molding well now because he introduced me or she introduced me to your videos and I'm sharing them with my girlfriends. When I receive le letters and stories like that, you know, because I receive them behind the scenes every day, that's when I'm more so humbled and grateful where I can actually sit still and say, you know what, Zim? You are successful or you are achieving, but on a day-to-day, -to, -day, to be honest with you, I don't feel that way because I'm always looking at the fact that, oh, you know, B. Scott has 40, 50,000 viewers and B. Scott is able to, you know, garner the amount of views that I get in one week of a video, he gets in an hour or two. And I'm not jealous of B. I actually love B. Scott. Like, I love Alonzo Lerone. You know, I love The Scorpion Show. I love fabled verse. Like, I love my fellow YouTubers, and I support them all because we're all sort of traveling the same path. But just like I've always compared my steps and my growth and my maturation to my friends, how quickly they got out of college, or when they bought their first homes, or when they got their first cars. I was the last one out of all of them to achieve those things, you know what I mean? But I do that even now in my life. I'm always watching other individuals and what they're doing and comparing my success to theirs and it makes me in a, in a way it's a good thing and in a way it's a bad it's good because it always keeps me moving every single day all I do every single day is I get up 
I blog, I, I post once or twice in the morning, then it's, you know, I'm checking and responding to all my Facebook messages, checking and responding to all my MySpace messages, checking Zimvan Adams at Yahoo.com, responding to all those messages, then I'm editing video footage, I'm posting, I'm promoting, I'm shoving my videos, emailing them out to different people, you know, contacting different networks trying to get my talk show television series on Logo or on Bravo or on the Here Network. Like, I'm always pushing. And that's one good thing about this, you know, camaraderie and this, 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 this competition. But it's like, I have to learn to stop in my moment, in my space, and thank God and appreciate Him for everything that He has bestowed upon me now. Because eight, nine months ago, you all didn't know me. Eight month, nine months ago, you all weren't watching my videos. Eight, nine months ago, I was still being viewed by just my friends and just my associates and just the people in Baltimore and D.C. who knew me. Now, I'm known across the country. Any city or state you go to across the country and beyond, in Jamaica, Barbados, Hawaii, you know, as far as London, the U.K., I have viewers across the world and I didn't have this eight nine months ago and I don't take the time to stop sometimes and smell the roses and appreciate all that God has given to me I'm always comparing myself my growth my maturation to what everyone else is doing those who are doing the same thing that I'm doing and it stifles your growth it stifles my growth you know, there are times where I have to just literally only focus on Zim and what Zim is doing. It's the same thing if you're running a race. And if you're so busy looking at what the person on your left and the person on your right is doing as they're running, then you're slowing down yourself. And I find myself doing that. And I'm trying to learn now to stop and smell the roses and focus on just what Zim is doing. And not what's going on with uh, Marcus Bellamy and Walking Water, or not what's going on with Derek Briggs and ADTV, and not, you know, what's going on with Tamaya and all these other individuals whose work I respect and whose work I love, but it, it stifles me. And, I, and, I, and it's, it's crazy because I'm the one who shares this message with other people to not compare themselves to everyone else, you know, to be grateful and thankful for what God has given you and to live within that space and within that time comfortably I live my every day always so concerned about what's gonna happen tomorrow am I gonna wake up tomorrow and have an email from someone at the logo network who has finally gotten one of my emails or watched my videos and has responded and wants to move forward instead of getting up every day and rushing trying to see what's gonna happen with Zim Van Adams in my future but living for today and thanking God for all the blessings today for the opportunities that are being given to me now to speak at DC's Pride in May. You know, to have my videos featured on Belushi.com. To, to be able to reach out and see all these individuals who are being, you know, whose lives are being changed and influenced by things that I'm saying and doing. Like, I need to thank God and be more patient. And that's one of my downfalls because I'm not. So I am learning in my everyday, ladies and gentlemen, to stop and smell the roses because it's one of my downfalls. I'm, it's, it's, it's been difficult for me since I was two, three years old. And now that I've been given this platform to use YouTube and use my own personal blog and MySpace and Facebook and Twitter and all these other social networks and public venues to promote myself as a brand and to promote my voice to reach out to the community, I'm going to stop now and really just be at peace with all that is happening now and continue to pray and work hard and just knowing that my efforts will not be in vain and that God is going to open that window tomorrow for me to fly through it bringing along all the others who are doing the same things that I'm doing who are traveling my same path and I hope that each of you will take me and my journey and my story and know that my everyday is a struggle just like yours I face the same trials and tribulations but we all do it in the name of triumph, promise, progress, and prosperity, I am Zim Van Adams, loving you all and conquering the world, one word at a time.